Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the last day of our coach sneak peek. Uh, I have since cleaned my kitchen, so since I have better lighting in this direction, uh, the kitchen is going to be my backdrop today. Um, today I wanted to kind of talk about, you know, how much time does it take to be a Beachbody coach? And I think we kind of touched on that uh, as if we did kind of day in the life. But really, the point I wanted to get across today is that there are multiple routes you can take as a Beachbody coach, and which one you pursue is totally up to you. Um, I do want to point out, as I kind of talk about these different distinctions of different ways you can approach Beachbody coaching, um, that don't feel like if you come into this business and you start as one of these three, that you can't fluctuate and change between them. Um, for example, okay, so I'm going to talk about our first, um, what's our first kind of identifier of how somebody approaches their coaching business. So a lot of people come into this business and all they really want is a discount. Maybe they're drinking Shakeology every month, they love the programs, they love the apparel maybe, and uh, they just really want that 25% discount on their products. And that is totally fine. For these people, they're not really building a business. They're maybe not running challenge groups. They just want that discount. And so they come in and that's that's what they use this opportunity for, is to get that 25% discount. And there are a number of coaches that do that. So that is definitely not a bad option to take. The kind of next step um, of coaching from being a discount coach would be like being a, a hobby coach. So somebody who does this to give themselves a little bit of extra income, but they won't, don't really have a desire to build a business out of this. And for that person, you know, they're going to spend some amount of time um, building their business, if you will, but it's not going to be a full-time thing. It may not even be an hour a day. It really depends upon the person. And, you know, maybe they'll be They'll be sharing their journey. They'll be talking to people when people ask, you know, what have you been doing? They'll let them know well, I've do been doing X program and drinking the shake and et cetera. And kind of sharing that, um, they'll maybe share their websites, their coaching websites, so that people can go in and purchase these programs through them. And they may or may not be running challenge groups. So challenge groups are our, for those of you who haven't been involved in one, are the primary way of which... Um, coaches will support their customers. Usually coaches will run anywhere from like a 21 to maybe even a 60 day challenge group so that their customers have a place to check in and be accountable with staying on top of their nutrition and doing their workouts. So a hobby coach may or may not be running challenge groups and that's perfectly fine. Um, the next kind of step up, I kind of consider this the next step up, is to be like a passion coach. Like maybe you have another full time coach um, career and but you really enjoy this this is a really significant part of your life so you're running challenge groups you're sharing you're actively messaging and inviting people to join into your challenge groups but maybe you're still not sure if you want this to be your full-time career so in that case you're kind of you're kind of a step down from the full-time business building coach but you're you do this as more than just a hobby this is a really significant part of your life and then the last, you know, category of being a coach would be somebody who is all in. They are building a business, they want this to be their full-time career, and they're running groups consistently, they're sharing consistently, they're helping new coaches, and this is the big difference between the other three categories and this last category, is they are helping new coaches to build their own business. Developing a team of people that have kind of the same uh, ultimate goal as you, the same mission as you, that is the big difference between this business building all-in coach and the other three categories of coaches. Um, the all-in coach and building that team is really how you're going to make your full-time income and we'll touch on that later um, in a later video today. But those are kind of the, th the four categories of being a coach. Somebody who just does it for the discount, somebody who treats it as more of a hobby, they may or may not run groups, but they're sharing, they're talking about what they're doing, and they're making a little bit of income on the side. The passion coach, which is kind of a step up from the hobby coach, um, who is definitely running groups, definitely sharing, has a significant passion for this, but maybe it won't be their full-time career, and the all-in coach. Now, I presented all of these options, but I also mentioned at the beginning of this video, you know, be flexible when you come into this business. Um, and don't think that if you come in as a discount coach that you can't be a hobby coach or passion coach or even an all-in business building coach in the future. Don't limit yourself when you come in to thinking that you have to stay in one of these categories. I actually, I hesitated to present these categories because I didn't want anybody to feel like 
they are pigeonholed into one of these categories when they come in. But I think it's important to mention them so that you realize that you don't have to build a full-time business coming into this. There are a number of people who absolutely love their primary career, but they also have a desire to help people get fit and help people get healthy and help people improve their lives. So in that sense, they're not a hobby, they're not a discount coach, but they're not an all-in business building coach either. So there are those different categories and there are different routes that you can take. So when you come into this business, take whatever route that's comfortable starting out. I started as a discount coach. I uh, really had, I mean, I was in graduate school. I really didn't think I had the time or the inclination to want to build anything out of this, but you know, look at what I'm doing now. Um, I. I want to make sure that you that all of you realize that what you come into this coach uh, this coaching opportunity thinking you want to do may not be what you end up doing long term, and it is okay to come in and ultimately change your mind about how you want to approach this business. Um, so those are kind of the different routes you can take. They all have varying amounts of time commitment, and as I said in that day in the life video, what you commit to this business really depends on you and your schedule and what you want out of it. I currently only commit about one to two hours a day and that may be less if I have a crazy week of presentations and homework and exams coming up. But then your full-time coach, you know, they'll probably commit much more than that per day to what they're doing with this coaching opportunity. Or if you're a discount coach, maybe you're not committing anything. Maybe you are just here um, to get your 25% your discount and that is totally fine. That is how I started. That's how a number of people start in this business. And if that's all you ever do, that is also totally fine too. I just want to make sure you all know that there are varying degrees of how much you commit to this business, what you want out of this business, and nothing is wrong with any of those. Uh, I, I am still, you know, figuring out if I want research and science to be my primary career. So I'm kind of in a, a flux stage between passion and business builder. Um, as I figure that thing out and that is totally fine that works for me And then there are other people who are all in gung-ho full-time and they are trying to replace their corporate careers With this business and that is fantastic as well. So don't feel like you um, Have to stay in any of these categories and don't feel like there's anything wrong with being a discount or a hobby coach whichever um, of these kind of general categories fits for you is the best option for you and I hope you feel comfortable with whoever invited you to this to express to them your goals for this, what you want out of this coaching opportunity, and that you are fully comfortable and committed to taking the route that works for you. So I hope that kind of lays out the different coaching options for you and that you're comfortable um, with the different options. Uh, if you have any questions about maybe what these different um, running a challenge group in and of itself entails or any of these more specific activities, what those entail in terms of time commitment or just general day-to-day -day activities, please post a question below and we will sh go ahead and answer that. If any of these are complex answers, uh, I myself or probably any of the other coaches in this group would definitely be willing to have a more in-depth conversation with you and maybe even make a video to get a little bit more in-depth of what these different activities entail. But those are kind of your general categories and they have varying time commitments to no time commitment to many hours a day if you're a full-time coach. So uh, those are kind of the different categories and I hope that helped to answer some of the questions about time commitment and the different routes that you can take in this coaching opportunity. Uh, that's all for now. I will post another video in a couple hours and I will talk to you all then. Bye!